Hey guys, Eric Su here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Goality Lifestyle. Today is going to be a fun one because I'm going to be doing the one year update to this pan. And so stay tuned. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I know you guys will get a lot out of this. So remember to destroy the like button, subscribe button and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And it helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know you guys will learn a lot as well. All right. So I'm super excited today because I'm going to be doing the one year update to this pan as well as the other two pans that I got right here. Okay. And I'm going to be going over what I noticed over the last year of using them and what you could expect as well. Okay. So I'm going to also do a uh, cooking test to let you see how this pan does after one year. And so let's get to it. So as you can see um, with these pans, um, some of them have been doing pretty well and some of them have not. Okay. I'm going to show you some um, video of the close-up of these pans and what you'll notice is like the smallest one didn't really um, get beat up as much because we don't use it as much but uh, at the same time we use it enough that we can tell that there are some wear in the back side and so when we first got these pans they were black and now after washing them in the dishwasher and just using them they've turned a little um, I don't know what color this is. Uh, we'll call it gray, um, but that's okay. It still works. Um, this pan, the smallest one, as you can see, didn't have uh, a lot of scuff marks uh, or dents in the pan itself compared to the other two where we use quite a bit more. Um, the 10 inch, we definitely notice a few more scratch marks and we really try not to use uh, metal utensils with these uh, like forks or spatula that are metal based. And, and unfortunately over wear and tear and um, just use, you'll see in the 10 inch and as well as the 12 inch pan, a lot of um, dents and dimples and scratches in these pans. Um, does it affect the way it cooks? In general, in my um, experience here, the cooking um, and the sticking of the foods is not as bad um, as you may think. Well, compared to when if when we first got them, definitely um, like eggs and and stuff that we cooked didn't stick to it. I may have to use a little bit more oil. However, in general, when um, we're cooking with these, it's not so bad. Now, as I take a closer look at like the, the 12 inch and all the little dents and, and scuff marks in this thing, it looks like it's not good to continue using it. And so uh, I don't know if uh, it's time to get new ones, but uh, it may be because I don't know how healthy that is to have uh, parts of the pan like scrub off, okay? So as I look at the, the inside here, I'll give you guys a close look again of what these um, scratch marks look like. And maybe if you have an experience with these pans, you can let me know in the comments what you think we should do with these. But um, uh, we may have to change these because this is probably not healthy that this um, pan, the surface is being scratched up like this. Um, in general, I would have to say that um, our experience has been pretty positive as well as um, good overall because um, these pans haven't really um, let us down in a way okay but let's get to the um, cooking test to see how it, this eight inch is, is doing okay you guys so I got my egg right here um, got my eight inch pan right here and I'm going to go ahead and without oil I'm going to go ahead and see if the non-stick um, on this pan still works after one year. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fire. Okay, I'm gonna let it get hot a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and 
um, crack this open and see how it does. Okay, you ready? Okay, it looks like it's cooking fairly uh, smoothly, evenly, okay. I'm going to get a few more seconds before I move it. <clears throat> How does that look, you guys? Okay, it's been about a minute or so. Let's see if it comes off. Okay. Okay. So you can see it's not really sticking. That's pretty good. Okay, so I can move it pretty easily as you can see. Okay. See from this side. It's pretty good. So if I get underneath it. One quick shift. I'm not doing a good job. But you can I can tell that it's it's uh, coming off fairly easily without any effort. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I think I'll wiggle it out a little bit. It's from where the egg hit the pan, I believe. I'm gonna, I got underneath it, flipped it. Okay, so how's that look, you guys? Okay. It wasn't too bad, in my opinion. Um, Okay. Okay, I shook the egg yolk out, but as you can see, it's probably a good test to see if that will stick as well. In general, I have to say that it was pretty easy. Um, doesn't look like it's sticking to this pan. Okay. Probably not a good move on that part for the egg yolk. Okay. Again, that was pretty good. It didn't, you could see on the bottom there, that not a lot of it is sticking. Okay. Um, this is all without oil, you guys. Okay. And um, it's pretty good. Look at this. Not bad. Okay, so that's the egg test without oil. All right, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So with that test right there, I would say that this egg didn't stick uh, terribly at all and no oil. And um, this eight inch pan passed the test in my opinion, okay? Um, if there's another test or something that you want me to answer about this pan, um, in addition to what I've already done, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and let me know. All right, you guys. So that was my quick follow-up, a one-year follow-up to the OXO 8-inch, 10-inch, uh, and 12-inch pans. I did the egg test as you saw right there. Let me know in the comments below what you think um, that test looked like to you or if there's something else that you want me to test with these pans. In my opinion, this pan 
has done what it was um, advertised to do, which was it, it was non-stick, it was easy to work with, and um, I think this pan still holds up uh, the 12 inch and the 10 inch. Just because it has those little scuff marks and dents on it, I think it's probably not safe to continue using them. The um, In general, we did use them about 60% more than this eight inch. So maybe because of how we used it and how often we used it, the um, durability um, is not as great. So I can't say I would recommend them for more than a year, uh, but it all depends on how well you use them, okay? But um, that is my review for these OXO uh, 8, 10, and 12 inch um, frying pans. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. And remember to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And we'll see you in the future.